My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Monster Train Hurzel's Workshop. We're going to be continuing with our Covenant 25 challenges. In particular, no problem. No champion, no problem. Uh, fallen champion, remove the champion from the starting deck. Luxury in limbo. Additional unit banners appear in limbo. And we also have highly reactive triggered abilities on friendly units triggered in additional time. Now, uh, pretty much every class has multiple different ways to access uh, really good trigger effects. Whether it's Summon, Revenge, Slay, uh, Extinguish, Eaten, Gorge, all of them. Rejuvenate, Incants, all of those doubled. Uh, now, that last, second last one there at least, is uh, particularly interesting. I could easily just choose Stygian Guard and go. I'm not going to. I'm going to random, random, and go with whatever I get. Because I understand I've been using Stygian Guard as a crutch for a lot of these. Um, I don't necessarily want to have to. Okay, we get an Exiled Star for each of ours. We get two vents in the base deck, a single... Oh, sorry, two Wick Lashes and a single March of Shields. Additional units appear in Limbo. It's out here. Uh, let's have a look at the artifact first. Round plus four sacks of armor each time it's applied to friendly units. Nice. So uh, that's that's typically going to happen on a trigger as well. So it's going to be double doubled. Remnant burner. Ooh, so the revenge to add even more burnout to friendly units. However, this paraffin thug could just have slay gain forty. That seems pretty good. And this steel worker. Oh, that consumer of crowns sure is a sure is a consumer of crowns, though, isn't it? We have a bunch of queen's inflings in this deck. We have the ability to utilize it. The steel worker would be a great play to just put in front of that paraffin thug. I would love to do that. Remnant, remnant, hellhorn banner on that side. Hellhorn banner there as well in front of the uh, elephants. This gives us a win strat already. I don't want to have to take like it, 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 like. I don't want to avoid this and then not be able to find a win strat later. That's the biggest thing for me. Okay, so we should be totally fine to set up on the bottom floor by ourselves. Um, okay. Unfortunately, we're not going to get back to the consumer crowns and item to be able to actually play it again. Shiny Seward goes here, and then he dies. Uh, I could do four damage to you, and then you even kill my own unit. So the only way that I get a kill on the Disciple Protector this turn is with Paraffin Thug, Wicklash. I don't like that. I'm going to go Shiny Seward, Paraffin Thug on this floor, and then Vent on the bottom just for the kill. Okay. Queen Zimpling will trigger two times here as well. Definitely want to play a vent on the bottom floor, so that means the Queen Zimpling goes top. Seems all good there. Then the Queen Zimpling, 5, 20. Great, we get the extra slay there as well. Uh, the Primitive Mold brings back a Queen's Impling. I mean, I guess I ought to bring it back. Play it and then forget about it. Soon, hopefully, in this next draw, we'll get the March of Shields, have the ability to defend the Shiny Seward a little off the back of that. Okay. So both those molds just get Implings back for us, which we can easily put down. Let's go burn out one, burn out two, so... Hit, hit, die, hit, hit, dies. This one goes here, blocking the five. Definitely March of Shields. Really? I didn't should have put it back here if uh, if it doesn't change the breakpoint by being in that position. Oh, rough. Well, thankfully we're 
much guaranteed to be able to get the kill from there. Mm, that sure is a welder helper that says give 48 armor to the front friendly unit. Definitely says that, doesn't it? <laughs> so let's take that one. Entombed Explosive. Deal 100 damage to the front enemy unit or 50 damage to the front enemy unit two times because that is going to be different. Yep. Oh! Okay. We're a Legion of Wax Run. That's what we do now. That's all we are. My god, we got a large stone. Get large, friend. Get big. Uh, rage. I'm actually going to reroll. Burn out! What? It's cool. It's fine. That's totally normal and reasonable to have happen. Um, I'm done. Like, I, I don't need any more units. <laughs> We're... No, thank you. You can't tempt me. Yeah, start on every floor. See if I care. <laughs> Why don't you all start in the middle of the pyre? The goal is now just cut as many cards as I can from the deck until we're fine again. Well, at least we got one enemy down. And now that we've sorted that. Yeah, I guess we ought to be fine now. Come on. Yeah, that'll uh that'll count for fine. Pop both these stewards down here, get some damage to the front line. Reform, please. Oh, you actually hit the right one on the first play. Nice, thanks. Okay. Yeah, that, that could have. That, that definitely had the stay in power to get even more done. Ritual of Battle, Hornbreak. Hornbreak is, uh, can be pretty useful for killing your own targets. Sure. Might as well, then. Molded. Yeah, having a specific Molded seems nice still. Easier time getting back the right units at the right time. It seems like artifacts are really the next thing here for me. And by next thing, I mean next way of getting powerful. That Pia Stone housing sure is a Pia Stone housing, isn't it? Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that we have all these green implings in the base deck, maybe I'd take the Sketch of Salvation, but the Pia Stone housing, though? Harvest game plus five. I'd love I'd love to. I would love to. I can't. I'd love to. It's a rail spike spell. Uh, will monsters back? Hmm. Um, Shiny stewards. Has this deck got too many moving parts? I don't know. Maybe I'm overestimating my ability to utilize the Legion of Wax as a kind of everything. I only put them on two floors at the moment. I may actually want to increase capacity very specifically so that I can play them on more floors. I can't kill on this middle line with the Power from Thug. It'd be Hornbreak play the Power from Thug, but then it doesn't do enough damage to the Forge Disciple.
Well, I guess I could have tried to set up for a later turn like this. Yeah, I should have done. I could have gotten more money. I mean, they're all burning out this turn, so the next revival hits fully effectively. Okay. When I say hits fully effectively, I mean it's guaranteed to hit the right unit, and we're guaranteed to have space to play it. It feels like I do need multi-strike, doesn't it? So I kind of have to wait for them to blow up before I actually have the ability to deal damage to anyone except the relentless enemies, effectively. Mm. I might need some way to kill my own unit there. That's a transcendent that doubles the doubling of all the summon effects. Okay. We'll give that endless and see what we can do about it. You got me. I just want to put one of them on all floors. Let's go over here. Get a multi strike. Oh my god, we got endless already. Endless on the transcendent. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't take the the fledgling imp. So that Transcend Imp is not going to have access to... Like, effectively, that Transcend Imp is just going to be deal a giant amount of damage to the Frontliner, right? It doesn't need to have any staying power. So I could give it Endless. Sorry, I, I could give it the Burnout plus one, right? So that I get to play it every single turn. And then at that point, it would be two triggers of that, two triggers of that, two triggers of that, two triggers of that, two triggers of that. And then this comes down onto the board. Actually, I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to trigger all those times. All summon effects triggered so far this battle. Yeah, so it might be 10. It might not be. We'll see if we can find other things later in the future. Nah, I'm not going to give it the burnout one just in case. Multi strike, please. The largest Legion of Wax. It's not its health that I need to increase, it's its damage. Dudes. And another one also got to get out of hand here. Thank you for leaving with grace. They restore all health when they morph up a floor. As long as I play my legions of wax correctly, we should be fine. Speaking correctly, that's exactly where we want that one down. And I don't need to play anything else there. Because mm -hmm. now the Primitive Mold is guaranteed to get the Legion Wax back. Which I can easily just put on the bottom floor now. And then throw a Horn Break out for the extra collection there. Uh, Sure, let's get rid of a Shiny Suit too. The Consumer of Crowns is really feeling like it... Uh, shown up here. Come on, as soon as they have multi-strike, we've actually got it. But before that, I am a bit concerned. That's not even going to split yet. Uh, yeah, we're about to let some damage through. Some serious damage, in fact. Yeah, because the, they'll just heal back up to full as they go to the top floor. There's nothing I can do about that there. Um, so I'm effectively just going to try and set myself up. That costs us a lot of HP there. You did it. You really rumbled this. You know what Relic would actually be absolutely... Votive key gives endless to something on play. No, because I still... The thing is, I need these to die. Well, I mean, burnout one... 
So if I play that with the Endless, it comes out with Burnout 1, so I don't have to worry about the reform cost of them. If I don't have to worry about the reform cost of the, the Legion of Wax, I can cut, like, almost this entire deck. Vote of Key is good. Vote of Key is very good here for us. Uh, Impeter Box is actually extremely good, though. Gives us the ability to load other imps into the Transcend Imp and make the Transcend Imp actually worthwhile. Memories of the Melters is a way to get way too much energy that I don't need for anything. Skip there. As much as I like the idea of the Concealed Caverns, I would honestly happily just dupe the Impeter Box right now. Get more things stored into the Transcend Imp. Not only would I happily do it, I will happily do it. Let's take that one out. And then, honestly, like, these primitive molds can easily start getting cut. The Consumer of Crowns is almost certainly never getting played, but I might go Capacity again in the next area. We'll see. We'll see. Numbers enemies gain Multi-Strike. Uh, that actually might help us by giving the enemies an easier time killing my slimy boys. My, my legions of wax. That's her name. Okay, so, capacity size is limited in the middle floor. First play is the Vote of Key Endless. So if I put the Legion of Wax on the second floor, it already gets the kills on all of these because it reforms. Um, if I give it Wicklash, it doesn't do that. I don't really want to put anything else in the reform pool. Well, actually, nothing is going in the reform pool, right? Yeah, the Legion of Wax doesn't go into the reform pool. So, yeah, put anything in there. Ow. Bugger. Whoa, no, 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 no. We're fine, right? Uh, Remold, burnout. Gets that kill there. Oh, perfect. Oh. Well, good thing that uh, <clears throat> Tomb's Explosive is endless. It's fine. We do have Reform in this deck. And we actually do kind of want to increase the Burnout Timer on Legion Wax a little. Before the boss phase starts coming. All right, I want input a box, and then I want to input a box again, and then I want to uh, figure out if maybe after that I should input a box. Uh, first off, let's get that lead from Wax on the top floor. Um, I don't think we're really able to play the Transcendence anymore. Three waves waiting, right? Okay, so these burn out in one, and then these burn out in one. So after that, I need to be able to play the reformed version of this Legion of Wax, which is good, because I will have that by then. The thing is, again, I need nothing else in the reform pool. Because that one up top... Wait, that one up top might have been endless. It actually was. Yeah, we're fine. Um, I'm going to put you there. You need more armor. Really? No, you're going to burn out after the first turn. It's fine. Five eighty-one. Uh, thankfully, this is endless and this floor is clear, so we already have the kill. Yeah, we'll be fine. We just have to worry about the amount of rounds remaining. Because if all of these had already burnt out by the time the, the enemy came in or as they were coming in, well, suddenly we have a much harder time. Give you Whiplash, even. Got him. Ooh, Rage doesn't decay on friendly units. That's a relic. Impish Scholar, okay. Get the ability to get the consumed Impeter Boxes back with that Transcendent. I'm down, I'm down. 
my god. <laughs> Summon four draft units. I'm fine. Thanks for the offer, though. Alright. I'm looking. Find him. Five whenever a tomb unit dies. Eh, deal five damage to enemy units whenever a burnout unit dies. I mean, that's that's extra AoE on that floor. Friendly units enter with rage three, which they don't lose either. I mean, look, I could just take both of those. Friendly units get plus three. Eh, that one's fairly minimal. Um, I'll take the infused mallet there as well. Check out concealed caverns. Awoken rail spike, draw X and apply negative two to those cards. Wax and spike for extra burnout. I mean, wax and spike might be exactly what we want here. Totally, totally good with that. All right, let's depart. Okay, so it's good. That's that's a little bit of a problem because unless I'm reforming the Legion of Wax, it costs two. <laughs> so. I, I have to go through this with the plan of reforming Legion Wax. If I if I don't, I kind of lost a little while ago. Um, but I prefer that not to be the case. So, get an imp down there. Pop a Legion of Wax behind it. Damage to the ultimate presence. Not feel good about it, but it's fine. I should reform the Legion of Wax and put it on the second floor at the absolute least. But I don't want it to be endless. Do I? Wait, will it now be zero cost eternally with the endless? Okay, reform. Apply zero. These changes persist for the duration of battle. So this... The endless version of this should still be zero cost if, uh, if that tooltip is being truthful with me. I think I need to still leave space on the top floor, so... Pyre Jumper! Dang. Pyre Jumper? Dang. Well, I don't even bother playing the Transcendent, then. I mean, at least this one's endless. Pyre Chumpa? Damn. Wait, I uh, didn't see its cost when I played it! Uh, dang. Yeah, it's not going to show me a card version of it now. Of course it won't. Um, kill you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm, get two infinite boxes back this turn. Save me. Oh, it, 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 it did keep the zero cost. Great. There's the pie chompers I was asking for. Good. Well, this top floor is now an imp floor. I need ways to kill my own units on imp floors. Otherwise, we are going to have problems. <laughs> oh, it's going to be bad. That's honestly part of what the Waxen Spike performs for us. If I play that here on the top floor, all of them die for the next turn. Nice remaining one. I actually think I put it here then. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll totally do. One for the uh, next ball setup. Come on, have a go. Excellent. Now, something that kills my own unit. Eh, Impolates a bunch of damage to a frontline enemy. It's not bad. Um, Formal's Child, I would need to be able to kill my own units to utilize that effectively. Devourer of Death. Yeah, I can just put that behind a large stoned one, whatever. Um, this will give me some space to play some things sometimes, at least. Okay. We still need multi-strike on the on the big boys quick. Quick means nothing. Multi-strike means something though. Yep. We're now a lot safer. I'd feel safer if maybe I had taken that impolate. Just a little bit more damage to frontliners. Seems like it might be necessary. Uh, but a box. Okay. I don't want to go with this. Uh, let's get the multi, uh, the multi imp to be the multi played one here, right? Um. Okay. Twenty. Interesting. Uh, so if the welder helper is played specifically on this floor, or is played before the transcend imp, then I can't get the transcend imp to die on this floor by itself this turn. Um, so the best way to get the Transcendent to die is literally just don't play the Welder Helper as part of this combo at all. Um, which makes sense to me as well. I also don't want the, 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 the health of the Welder Helper provides right now. So, Molting. And then we Queen Zimpling, and then we Transcend him here. Okay. Got too many banning units. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, and now I. Go. Queen Simpling. Into. Molting. Getting the Queen Simpling back to the top of the deck, so this is more of a nuke for future targets. Only definitely very much possibly too late. Um, I don't want this to trigger endless yet. Because I am going to be playing imps. So Transcendent goes down first. Then Legion Wax behind. I mean, if, do, if I do that on the top floor, I get some extra damage out here. And then I prep myself for the Gilded Wings. I like that. floor up there. Okay. This Transcend Imp immediately kills itself, but nukes all of the enemies on that floor. It's pretty acceptable in my mind. Yeah, that's even less than the previous one. Okay, we're going to be totally fine on that top floor. Uh, I am going to be reforming a lot of imps here. So Legion Wax is going to be hard to access, which means that Molded is even more important. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, can we be an imp only deck? Is that really viable for us? Guess we're about to find out, right? Scholar, thanks for the box. to go again. Thanks for the box. There we go. Those are exactly the ones that I want to get into that transcend him now. Uh, legitimately, actually, the ones that I want to get into. Perfect. 
perfect. We use Molded to bring back specifically the Legion of Wax. Uh, pop that in the back line and yeah, that'll do it. Here's a Transcendent for you as well though. Input a box. Fire Chomper. One fledgling game? It's not like I'm asking for that much. One fledgling. Oh, damn. There was very little left in that Legion of Wax right there. Um, impressive, definitely. Slowly fine there. Now the Devourer of Death. Memento Mori is just kill the frontliner for three energy. Sometimes that'll be playable for us. Especially if we lower its cost. Well, look, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get all the energy I ever need. And this is nine armor on every unit right now. I don't know if I need <laughs> nine armor. Oh, come on! What is this? What the hell is... Those are exactly the... I'm not mad. You're mad. It's not me. <laughs> uh, getting the infinite... <laughs> Honestly, getting them back is zero cost after playing the, the consumer out is better. <laughs> God. Alright, let's get the banning units out of here that we don't need. Because they're preventing us from playing the Legion Wax on the opening turn, which is where it really needed to be played. Um... Maybe I want a second horn break for killing my own. Well, to help a, uh, sorry, my own Transcendent. I can literally just dupe the Transcendent and try and win off of that. Fine. So, I'm so, I'm, I am so mad. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm trying to just like write the course and just be like, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it happens all the time, but come on. Exactly the two that I was clearly looking for the whole run. Wild. Just wild. Okay. Still don't want Endless on the Burning Legion Wax? Question mark? No, I can put it down. With Endless. Let's get rid of the Primitive Mold. Less likely to be useful for us. Uh, the Transcendent does need to be played where it dies. You can go top floor total, yeah, it's fine. You'll be able to clear these up. And then the Transcendent goes here, giving me the ability to play these two out. Do I need an Entombed Explosive out there? I mean, look, I'm just going to be loading more Imps into Queen's Impling, so sure, just get rid of anything I can. It seems like it'll have some value, it probably will. Hey, there's the Imp a Scholar as well as the Imp a Box. Great. Imp in a Scholar. Yeah, that's what they call them now. Um, okay, this floor is now no longer ever a Legion of Wax floor. Unfortunately, that means I just don't play the Legion of Wax here. Am I capable of not playing the Legion of Wax? And being comfortable with that? I don't think I am. This Transcendent is about to go the hell off, and there is another one left in the deck. Fine. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is definitely correct then.
I'm just gonna pop you out in front. And then if I use the waxing spike, I can actually kill all of them as well. damage right there. Let's go for Queen's Impling. It's bar of death in the back line. It's going to mold first. Oh, right, the Devourer of Death is no longer dying. Wow. Um, momentum already kill you. And then lose only the Transcendent there. Kind of ideal. Okay. Well, I know what we're doing now. It is King's Impling. Gets to kill itself. Then a... Transcend him goes down after the Welder Helper because we actually do want to utilize. So I, I, are we blocking behind the Welder Helper then at that point? Are we even using the Welder Helper yet? We've only got two waves remaining. So if I want good defense on a Transcend we have to use the Welder Helper now. I can play the Transcend by itself on the bottom floor then play the well to help behind it. No. Just, just well to help her. And then transcend him. Don't exhaust any other spells. Send him out there now. All right. Forties. That'll take forty damage. You killed there. Okay. Six oh five on that bottom floor right now. Definitely not what I was looking for there, unfortunately. At least we get everything except for the pure fire in the back line, which we managed to finish off at the well. I kill those units on the top line. That's where all the damage was from. Okay. Now. In Zimpling. Simpling and transcend him. Cool. Transcend him goes back into the next hand as well. With the other transcend him, mind. Oh god. Definitely play that on that floor. Uh do that on that floor too. I should play them in the other order and use the waxing spike in between. Oh, I can even just. And they do less damage! What? <laughs> oh, how? Well, what?
whatever. Um, I'm just gonna... Casually set this one up. Uh, fledgling in there, and then... Even more. <laughs> what is this run? Do I do it? Do I do it? I forgot that most of them are dazed. Well, we're just going to go into this fight for the first time. I can't, I can't end an episode with a throw like that. Ah. <laughs> uh. God, now I need to play this thoughtfully again. Ugh, it's the worst. Time to think. Three. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with most of the actions I'm going to be taking. Right? Yeah, we started setting up the, the imps on the bottom floor already. Do we want that to have endless? No. Not at this point. That being refuel is better. So Transcendent goes there. I, I don't remember all of the turns that I'd taken, frankly. But at least it looks like we set up enough damage for the second line. Yeah, this is already completely different. In the box. Hey. Yeah, I remember all of this going on different floors last time. Input a box again! Oh. We might be able to construct the win a lot faster if we do this uh, with intent. I just need to make sure that my own Transcendent dies enough times. There's a Hornbreak still left in the deck as well as an Impressive. Two ways to kill it. There's a Waxen Spike that'll also kill it. Sometimes the correct answer is just build a good floor. Sometimes it's just as simple as that. Get down to Queen Zimplings, just get more damage and put Transcendent. Seems reasonable. I also don't really want to consume any other spells here if I can avoid it. Transcendium dies this turn regardless of whether or not I use Impressive on it. Let's get a Devourer of Death in the back line here as an alternative way of picking up damage. Kind of like the Impressive down as well. And then yeah, the possibility of doing it again. And again. Burn out two. Yeah, you can go to the top one. You can even have a even have a bit of multi strike about it. Sorry, a bit of wake lash about it. Uh, definitely a sampling on this floor. Get all that protection, and then I guess I also need to go on this floor myself. I mean, look, if impressive imp, if impressive is one of the things that comes back every time, then I can kill my own unit easily. Um, I 
Chop a Malting Imp. Fire Chumper. Malting Imp. Heck, we flash that top line again. So as it turns out, uh, I made that fight way more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> Uh, da, da, da. so this guarantees that I get impressive back, but play the transcendent now. Let's do that, and then do you get as many other imps as I can get. That's a transcendent. Oh, jeez, that's a transcendent. Uh, guess we just. I mean, this one's not endless. I guess we just play it. There you go. Good transcend him. Get some more fledgling imps. Don't really have space for him. Good thing I went double capacity. Uh, but you know, the top floor, then that dies instead. Great. Perfect. Spengeful shard. Use a horn break to kill a single unit there, and then ultra buff this floor. And then because I never learn. Accent spot. And honestly, I only even did that because I wanted to do it again this floor. And then because I never learned wax and spike. But the devour of death is 100% going to get the kill here regardless. I knew that was guaranteed. Yeah, 480, it would have done it another time as well. I feel fine restarting that fight because we had the win and then I decided to BM. I <laughs> just... I just... It literally, it was just down to I forgot that they had days because if they didn't have days, we just would have had enough damage in the back line of our units up on that top floor to be able to completely cover it. It would be fine. Ah, uh, well... For the moment, my name is Ben Rhapsody. Name of the game has been Monster Train. The challenge has been known champion, no problem. We didn't use Stygian this time, which means I'm allowed to use Stygian next episode. I... I gotta say... I don't really dig the 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 kind of like a ducks system or or uh magna cum laude or, or, or the, 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 it's kind of like um effectively representational systems of someone's placement within the class right um but i'm not going to talk about that instead i'm going to talk about something slightly related i'm going to talk about an issue adjacent honors roles in particular Maybe uh, give someone the little crown to say they're the king of detention if they're in there enough times. You know? They've got nothing else going for them, apparently, so give them a crown. Maybe give them a little bit of self-esteem. Maybe they come out of there and they are the king of detention, and then they uh, they succeed based off of the belief that you had in them. But again, that's an issue adjacent honors. For the moment, my name is Ramsey, and the name of the game has been Monster Train. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.